Macs now only account for about a third of Apple's business. They're so successful in music and phones these days. But it's still a massive business, and um, I think that the, the MacBook Air, the new £850 one, will actually find quite a big market because um, people you know, really buy into the Apple brand these days, and uh, it's a lovely bit of design. Well, while it is really challenging designing something that's this thin and this light, it's really, really hard to design something that's also strong, robust, and this precise. Creating structure and features from a single piece of aluminium reduces multiple parts to a single one that is not only very thin, very light, but has incredible structural integrity. Apple is breathing some of those successful points of the iPad and the iPhone back into its Mac range. And, and key among those is the idea of an app store, a, a Mac app store, where you can very easily navigate and download and buy uh, applications specifically for the Mac. Crucially, they've also previewed the next generation of their operating system, which has a lot more iPad-like features to it. So applications start to be full screen, you control them with multi-touch, although not on the screen, but using gestures on a trackpad. Touch is extremely important to how we interact with our software. If we had tried to build it into the display, we discovered that it's not in an optimal position. You don't feel comfortable holding your hand up in the air and trying to multi-touch. The best way to deliver multi-touch in a notebook is through the trackpad. So in the MacBook Air, we've built in a large glass multi-touch trackpad right below the full-size keyboard. And we said that it's not necessarily a primary computer because it doesn't have a massive hard drive. They've gone totally solid state in order to speed the thing up. Um, and it's not the most powerful processor either. So some people might prefer to go for a, a bigger laptop. We do flash storage differently than other computer manufacturers. Rather than package it inside a housing, we place the chips directly on the logic board so we can be much more efficient about the way we use space. This gives us a lot more room for batteries. So what you get is up to five hours of battery life on the 11-inch product and up to seven hours on the 13-inch product. And you get up to 30 days of standby time. iLife is a great suite of, uh, of programs for you know for home use for for editing your photos and uh, and making music. This next iteration isn't a, a massive leap forward, I don't think. Um, it just tweaks it, makes them um, more usable. Um, but it's one of the reasons I think that people buy into Mac is because it does make uh, photos and video and music very very easy.